everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you are new here, my name is Jess and today I have a pretty big uh, Halloween haul for you guys. So it is officially the start of spooky season, um, at least in my book. It kind of has been since mid-August. Um, basically as soon as my birthday ends, um, we are all about Halloween in my house. Um, I haven't decorated just yet but I did start shopping for some spooky season things kind of early this year um because it's just one of those years where you kind of just really need just some spooky things and some things that make you happy and at least for me that is Halloween and spooky season so we've got kind of spooky vibes going got some purpley makeup going we've got my villains cake worthy all over print shirt going which I got from box lunch but they do have it on the cake worthy website um and it just has all of the disney villains um so you have hades and corella deville and the evil queen and you have ursula and you have maleficent sorry i'm trying to not have to like stand up and show you um the shirt but just kind of show it from sitting down but yeah so all of my favorite disney villains um all some of the best disney villains are represented on the shirt um so we are just getting into the villains and spooky vibes today i have a bunch of stuff some stuff i ordered from shop disney some stuff is from spirit halloween some stuff is from home depot um and yeah so i'm just gonna jump right into it the first thing that i am going to show as part of this haul is the pair of ears that i am wearing so these ears are another pair of ears from leia's house of mouse ears um i showed a pair of her ears before um they were the black lives matter ears Ooh, my hair is messed up after taking those off um but these are her nightmare before christmas ears i think she has another pair of nightmare ears but i really loved this print like she showed a preview of the fabric i dm'd her on instagram like right away and was like whatever you're making with these e with this fabric i need to buy it immediately um and so she was making these adorable ears so the fabric is just kind of like little sketches of all of the nightmare characters so on the front here you can see oogie boogie and zero and you can see shock down there and the mayor on this ear and then it just has little candy corns and little like ghosty guys all around as well and then here on the back again you have the mayor and shock and there you have barrel and i just loved the fabric i loved the sketchy style of these of the characters um and then she paired it with this adorable gold sequin bow and then there is just a little sequin trim around each of the ears and then her headbands i don't know where she gets her headbands from but i think she puts this kind of like material that almost feels like a suede like i said the last time um over the insides of the ears and that makes them just so much more comfortable than a typical pair of ears um and these headbands they fit so well and are so comfortable um they're like really good quality sometimes when you order like small shop ears um the headband is like so small or tight and just gets uncomfortable after a while but um, just from wearing these ears in videos and stuff like that, I can tell that her ears are going to be super comfortable if you wanted to wear them all day long at the parks. So I am super, super happy with these. Um, and the package did include a little business card. And last time I had lost it and I found it like a month later, um, but then got a new one in this package. Um, so just thanks for your order and to share photos on Instagram. And then on the bottom, this is her Instagram handle. I will also leave her Instagram linked down below if you guys wanted to go and follow her. It also has a link to her shop where you can buy. I think these ears are still available, um, but if not, she is coming out with so many more Halloween designs and has just so much more spooky season stuff um, available that you guys can check out. So if you these ears aren't your thing, I am sure that there is something there that you guys will absolutely love. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love her shop and all of her designs are so cute. Um, and it is a black owned business. Um, so it is a great way to support creators of color in the Disney community. So definitely check out Leia's House of Mouse Ears. First up, I think we're going to start with the Shop Disney things. I placed a couple of different orders on Shop Disney, um, for some spooky season stuff. Um, and some of it, like it took literally until just today before I filmed this for everything to finally arrive. Um, some stuff came in separate shipments and Shop Disney shipping has been all over the place lately um but i have all of the stuff that i've recently ordered um and i'm gonna be doing so this is gonna be a two-part kind of spooky season haul or possibly more um because i am definitely planning on going all out with halloween stuff this year there are some more things that i'm planning on purchasing um in the future but they just haven't been released yet or i haven't had the opportunity yet so 
definitely keep an eye out for a second Halloween haul um but I figured I had a decent amount of stuff right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and do kind of part one of my Halloween haul so to start off with um I will show two plush purchases that I made from Shop Disney so one is the werewolf plush or wolfman from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I have a whole bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas plushes. I have Little Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I think I have Oogie Boogie. Um, I have Vampire Teddy. I have... I think that might be it that I have. Um, I don't have a big Jack and Sally plush because I have a, a, a little Mickey and Minnie as Jack and Sally plush um, that I like a lot. And the Jack and Sally plushes that they make are just so huge and big that they're awkward to put anywhere, um, at least I feel. Um, so I'm happy with my little Mickey and Minnie dressed as Jack and Sally that I have. Um, but I do like all the side characters from Night and Remember for Christmas a whole lot. Um, so I have I've had to have the whole plush collection of all of them. So there is the wolfman and he is just so cute in his little flannel and they even have it like ripped in the back which is so cute um and yeah he is just adorable and fuzzy and they have his little fuzzy tail and i thought he was just so adorable and i am so excited to decorate for halloween and put him out and he was 16.99 on shop disney also, these ears were, they might have been, they were in like the $25 to $30 range. I don't quite remember. Um, but her ears are very affordable. I don't think that there's any pair that's really over $30. Um, so yeah, it's an affordable way to get your hands on some handmade, unique, awesome Disney ears. You know, her, they run about the same price as the Parks ears. Um, but I definitely think with small shops, you get more uniqueness. Um, and more different styles. So I definitely think that spending $30 on handmade small shop ears is so much more worth it than the $30 for Parks ears, even though I still spend $30 on Parks ears, as you're going to see <laughs> coming up in a couple of minutes. Second item that I ordered from Shop Disney is a plush of the snake. This is one of the haunted little Christmas presents. Oh my god, does he have a little... <gasps> He's like a little hand puppet. You guys, he's a little puppet. That's adorable. <laughs> this is the weirdest, cutest thing in the world. Oh my God. Okay. I had no idea he was a puppet when I ordered him online. I just saw that they had a plush of the snake and was like, he's absolutely adorable. I need him to go with my little side character plush collection. Um, but wow, he is so cute. So he is a puppet, which I love. Um, and then... It is just the orange and black snake that they make as one of the haunted Christmas presents. He's the one who eats the Christmas tree um, and basically pulls a Grinch. So yeah, I am absolutely obsessed with this now that I know that he is a hand puppet. Um, it's probably going to scare the crap out of my partner when I show them this. <laughs> but oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed. That's amazing. And this adorable spooky little guy was $22.99 on Shop Disney. <laughs> and in my opinion, well worth every penny. My gosh. Next up are two pin purchases. So they recently released some Halloween pins on Shop Disney. I missed out on a couple of them, which I'm so upset about. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to find someone to do a park pickup or something because there are some pins that I definitely need to get my hands on. Some of them weren't posted on Shop Disney either, which I am kind of upset about. Um, so the first pin does not really go with any of my pin collections. I just saw it and thought that it was super adorable. Um, and it is two of my favorite Marvel characters. So I had to pick it up and cause I feel like my holiday pin collections don't necessarily have to match with my main pin collections. Um, so the first one I got is this adorable Thor and Loki pin. So it features Thor and Loki, and then it says will trade brother for candy. Um, and I just thought that this one was super, super cute. Thor is my favorite Avenger or one of my favorite Avengers and Loki is my favorite. I don't know. Can we call him a villain? Is he really a villain? I don't know, but he's just one of my favorite, uh, Marvel characters. So I had to get this. And so it just came on this backer card that just says Marvel down the bottom. It doesn't even say Disney parks, um, which I found really interesting about this pin. Um, but yeah, so Came on that backer card. Here is a close-up of the pin. 
Okay, so here is what the pin looks like. I just thought the drawing style was super adorable. Um, and just the fact that it said Will Trade Brother for Candy, absolutely love that. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, I absolutely would have traded my brother for candy on Halloween. Um, and then here is just the back. It just has the Mickey waffling on the back and the Marvel and Disney logos. And then this one did not come with the Mickey pin back. It just had a regular rubber pin back, which I don't know. I don't have any other Marvel pins from the Disney parks. I have a couple of other like Marvel related pins, um, but they are not Disney licensed ones. Um, they're like Deadpool and other Marvel characters that Disney doesn't really do. Um, so I don't know if this is a standard thing for Marvel pins at Disney. Somebody who maybe has Marvel collections, let me know. Um, but yeah, it did not come with a Mickey pin back, which I found interesting. And then the second one that I got is this adorable Star Wars pin. So this one also didn't have like the Disney Parks logo on the bottom, but it does have Disney pin trading the Disney pin trading logo right there. Um, but this one I just thought was so cute. It says hands off my bounty. Um, and I believe this is supposed to be Boba Fett. I don't think that this is supposed to be Mandalorian. Um, but I just thought it was adorable with little candy frozen in carbonite there. I thought it was just the cutest thing and so I thought that it would be perfect for my growing Halloween pin collection um and I do have a little Star Wars pin collection um like I said in the past I'm kind of picky about the things that I choose for it but I just thought this was super adorable and then the back of this pin just also has the Mickey waffling and it has the Star Wars logo and the pin trading logo and then this one did come with the Mickey pin back um I've noticed all the Star Wars pins that I do have that are from the Disney parks do have this the Mickey pin backs on them. Yeah, I believe both of those pins were around $9.99. Um, I could be wrong and they don't have the price on the back because they are like the parks items. So they don't they don't even have like the silver or bronze, whatever, like the the pricing um category or whatever listed on the back. So I can't even tell that way. I should have looked it up beforehand, but I believe that they were about $10 um, for each pin. Next up is a pair of ears because like I said, even though I love handmade small shop ears, I still spend the ridiculous amounts of money that Disney charges for their ears. And they are these Nightmare Before Christmas ears um, from Loungefly. There is a matching backpack to this, um, to this pair of ears, but I just really liked the ears. Um, they are super cute and feature all of the Nightmare characters. So there's Oogie Boogie and the Mayor and Shock and Dr. Finkelstein and the Little Mummy and the Pumpkin King and the Witch. Sorry, I couldn't tell who she was. She was upside down. And there's Locke and Sally and the Clown is somewhere on here and the Harlequin Demon and the Undersea Girl and just so many little there's a little bat um santa jack feral sandy claws with little elves like everything about these ears is just so adorable and then i loved the black sequin bow the sequins almost like glitter give off this like holographic like rainbow effect which is so cool and here are the ears from the back you even have pajama jack like what the heck these are so cute and little zero oh and here's the clown And these are just so so cute and thankfully these don't have like a huge tag where like it hangs back behind the freaking ears so many pairs of ears that they've been releasing have that um and especially the limited release ears from the mini main attraction collection have them and i am so annoyed because it's like they're nice quality ears and like if you wanted to wear them like i don't want to cut the tag off and ruin them um but the tag also makes it kind of impossible to wear them without the tag being visible so it's kind of annoying but so it has just a small tag there and then on the sides here let's get it facing the right way um and then on the side here is just a tag that says lounge fly and the inside is this super soft like velvet material inside of the headband so i've noticed that lounge fly 
Disney Parks ears are so much more comfortable and soft than the regular Disney Parks ears. So I think these were a little bit more expensive. I think these were probably like $34.99, um, but totally, totally worth it because they are going to be so comfy and so cute for spooky season. I only wish that I could get to the parks to wear both of these pairs of ears for Halloween. Okay, and then last, well, sort of last but not least from Shop Disney, um, is this four puzzle set featuring the, featuring the Haunted Mansion stretching room portraits. I am absolutely obsessed with the Haunted Mansion stretching room. It is one of my favorite things in the Haunted Mansion ride, um, which is funny because it's like the kind of like the queue area like pre-show thing but I just absolutely love it. I love all of the stretching portraits especially the tightrope walker portrait. Um, I do have the backpack of her um, that Loungefly released last Halloween so I absolutely am obsessed with this and so it is a four piece puzzle set. Each puzzle is 500 pieces um, and I am probably going to put them all together and get a frame um, and kind of frame them all in one um puzzle frame so i'm super super excited to put this together maybe i'll try to hang it in my house somewhere for halloween <laughs> we'll see if my family will go for that but yeah i'm super super excited about this puzzle um i don't remember how much it was and again it doesn't have a price on the back because it is a disney parks item that i ordered offline um but i want to say probably around 25 dollars for this puzzle um but this is a pretty big puzzle um and you technically it's technically like a 2000 piece puzzle because it's four or 500 piece puzzles um and each puzzle is 27 inches by nine inches so when you add that together that's like if you put them all together like i'm planning on that's ends up being just like a huge huge puzzle <laughs> so yeah definitely worth the money that i spent okay next i'm going to move on to some like more halloween decoration kind of purchases first thing is from home depot um i had to go to home depot with my mommy needed a, key, a copy of the key made um and of course i saw they had the halloween stuff out already so i had to go and take a peek and i saw this which is one of those like um led like projector lights that like projects the light onto your house and they kind of like dance around and it is nightmare before christmas um so the characters that it features are oogie boogie zero um like pumpkin king jack and then just regular jack and i have one of these for christmas that is frozen um and then i have one for halloween that just is little like spooky bats that fly around um so i'm super excited to add this to my halloween display um i'm really trying to buy a lot of outdoor things for halloween this year and just kind of go all out especially because there probably won't be trick-or-treating um i especially just want you know kids and people in the neighborhood to be able to see the fun spooky decorations as they go by so it kind of makes up for the fact that you're not gonna get any trick-or-treating or any hopefully any halloween parties people should not be holding halloween parties this year um but yeah so just to make up for that i want to kind of go all out with decorating because this is one of my favorite holidays and literally one of my favorite things is seeing like all the kids come trick-or-treating in their costumes and how creative people get with things um and yeah i just love everything about spooky season so really trying to make up for the loss this year with with my decorations um but yeah and it looks like it's gonna be this adorable little like pumpkin projector which is super cute and so even like sitting in the ground there it'll still look like it's part of the decorations and not necessarily be super obvious that it's the light projector um so yeah everything about this is super cute they were 20 it was 21.99 i think for this or something like that like 21 or 22 dollars um for this uh light projector so super super cute and i'm super super excited to finally put all my decorations out for Halloween and see what this looks like all lit up on my house. And next are two things that I got from Spirit Halloween. I do have more stuff coming from Spirit Halloween and I plan on making more trips there um, as the season progresses um, because some of the stores have just opened up so they didn't have a whole lot yet. Um, and I know that there is one like really huge one near me that took over an old Toys R Us building. So I'm gonna try to go to that one at some point and see if they have anything more being that they have a much bigger space to work with. Um, but for now, I got two things. One of them is not fandom related at all. So I'm gonna show that first. And that is just this adorable set of pumpkin lights. Um, I've, there's the little, um, plastic in it to stop you from testing it. Um, but I, there was ones in the store that, um, I was able to test and they just kind of are flashing pumpkin lights. 
Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put them. I'm going to have to find a space outside of my house to put them because if they're flashing inside, they're going to drive everybody in my house crazy. Um, <laughs> but you know, they are just super cute little black jack-o'-lanterns and I just thought they were really spooky and cute and I loved them. And I could have bought little like Pennywise the clown, um, light up stakes that go in the ground and make noise, but I decided on these instead so I wouldn't give my mother a heart attack every time she walked up the driveway. Um, so yeah, these were $19.99 and I think I got a 20, they did like a 25, 20 percent off coupon. Maybe it was, um, because I know I definitely did not end up paying full price. I heard the girl say she's getting a coupon. Um, so I think it might've been like a 20% off or something, but yeah, these are super, super cute. Next thing I got is a Nightmare Before Christmas doormat. Um, I saw this, they have a whole like Nightmare Before Christmas section. They have like a whole little like section in Spirit Halloween that is like dedicated to different movies. So there's like Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus, Beetlejuice. Um, I think that's all that I really saw in that section, but it's like one specific section and it has like all those like little like fun spooky movies um, in it. And so I saw this Nightmare Before Christmas welcome mat and it just says every day is Halloween and features Jack Skellington. You can't see his face behind the tag. Um, but I just thought this was so cute and spooky um, to put at the front door. Um, I don't know how I never bought a Halloween themed welcome mat for outside my house before, um, but I saw this and so I just decided to pick it up. Um, and again, I'm trying to really go all out. So even the welcome mat is going to be Halloween this year. And um, I just love the whole like every day is Halloween thing um, because in my life, every day basically is Halloween. I constantly have Nightmare Before Christmas and Haunted Mansion and like horror movie related things out and around my room. Um, so I love spooky things and I love it all year round. So every day really is Halloween for me. So this mat was perfectly fitting. Okay, and last but not least, I have some Funko Pop purchases. So first up, I have this adorable Zero Funko Pop from the Funko Shop. Um, this It was a limited edition one that was released. Um, I feel like this was kind of a random release. I had no idea that these were coming out, um, but I got an email from Funko Shop one morning and saw him on there and absolutely had to pick him up. So he is from this new artist series that they're doing. I think that they're doing it for like other collections of pops as well um but I know they're doing a bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas ones so they did this adorable zero and he's kind of painted all like orange and spooky looking um I think that the designs are supposed to look kind of like skulls painted on him um but I just thought he was super cute and he was a Funko Shop limited edition So yeah, you can see there, it's supposed to look kind of like a skull painted onto him there. And they do come wrapped up in plastic and in the, the hard plastic pop protectors. Um, you can see on the back here, all the ones that they're planning to do. Um, they're doing a Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie, and the Mayor. I am the most excited about Oogie Boogie and the Mayor. Like, especially look how cool Oogie Boogie looks, guys. Like, how amazing is that? I'm sorry, you can kind of see the reflection in of um my phone in the case um but because it does come in the plastic pot protector and it is wrapped in clear plastic it's kind of reflective um but I don't want to take him out of this um I'm assuming the reason that they came in these pop stacks is because they are supposed to be more of a collector's series limited edition kind of thing um and so to kind of preserve them as much as possible I'm not going to take them out of it I don't even know if I'm going to unwrap the plastic <laughs> um that's how like obsessive of a, of a collector I can be about some things so yeah unfortunately not taking him out of this box but you can still see how super super adorable he is um, and he was $24.99, $25, I think, on the Funko website. He was a little bit more expensive because he does come with the plastic pop, uh, pop sack. Also, this Nightmare Before Christmas welcome mat was also $19.99. But again, I think that I um, got like a 20% off coupon. So I don't think I paid the full $20 for it. Okay, and next up, I do have the Jack from that series, or well, the Hot Topic exclusive Jack from the art series. 
So he is like black with different like purple and yellow abstracty kind of things painted on him. Um, the one that it shows on the back of the box is he's painted purple with kind of like black and yellow paint on him. Um, so this is the Hot Topic exclusive version. And I just think that this series is just so cool and just like the abstract kind of art on them. Um, yeah, they're, it's just a very unique take on a Funko Pop, I feel. And again, this one comes with the pop stack and wrapped in the plastic wrap. So I am just leaving it like this for now. And yeah, super obsessed with that one. Um, this one was $17.90. So not quite as expensive as the one off of the Funko Shop. Um, but Funko Shop exclusives, I think, are always like a standard $15. And then since it had the pop stack, it added about $10. So normally Hot Topic exclusive releases are, I think, like $12.00. I think they're like twelve fifty um to like fifteen dollars um but usually not as expensive as Funko Shop. Okay, and then the third Funko Pop that I purchased is the Sally from the new Nightmare Before Christmas launch. Um I showed the mayor back in my birthday haul. Um, and the same day that Hot Topic got in the jack, they got in this Sally. So this is Sally and she is sewing her arm back on. I will take her out of box. Um, so I will show her to you out of box in a moment. Um, but here is the back of the box showing the rest of the ones from this collection. So obviously there is the mayor, um, there is Sandy Claus, there is this Jack Skellington, and then there is the 10 inch Jack and Zero, which I am super, super excited about that one. and taking her out of the box. So for anybody who is new here, um, I am kind of like half an in-box and half out-of-box collector of Funko Pops. Um, for some of the ones that I have that are like exclusives or anything like that, um, or that are kind of like worth a little bit more money on um, like the resale market, I keep them in boxes just to keep them as pristine as possible. Um, not that I ever would want to resell them or get rid of them, um, but just to kind of keep hold their value um, for as long as possible. Um, but then for the ones that are just kind of more common and not really worth anything, I have no problems taking them out of their boxes, but I do keep all of the boxes, which is kind of a problem <laughs> because I use some of them as kind of like shelving for my displays. And so I'll like put them on my shelf and stack pops on top of them rather than buying like shelf risers or anything like that. Um, but then I do have just boxes and boxes of pop boxes down in the downstairs of my house. So it's kind of a problem. But yeah, so pulling Sally out of her box. So she is super, super cute. So I love the colors that they do for her dress on the Funko Pop version of her. I think that they're a little bit brighter um, than the movie Sally, but they're still super cute. Um, and I think she just looks so adorable with her little eyelashes and the lipstick. Um, I think this is just a cute, interesting take on Sally. Um, she almost looks a little bit like girlier, um, but I'm not necessarily complaining about that. Um, and I noticed that she does have a little nose here, which most Funko Pops usually don't have a nose, but she does have a nose, which is interesting. Um, and then she is just sitting down and this is the scene where she is sewing her arm back on um, after she jumps out the window and it falls off. So you can see there the little needle and thread. Um, and so I just think that that is so cute. And here is her from the back. You just see her adorable long hair. Um, and yeah, I know that's this is a really interesting take on Sally. Um, I feel like they've done so many of the same kind of poses for Jack and Sally and just given them like different outfits or whatever, um, or painted them as like sugar skulls or things like that. And I think that putting them in these different poses and showing them from different scenes of the movie is super original and just super cool um, to see and add to my Funko collection. And so this last thing here is why I said that this is that the ears were sort of but not really the last thing I ordered from the Funko shop. Um, so my partner was up on Shop Disney one morning. They wake up at ungodly hours of the day and so they were scrolling through Shop Disney and found that this Funko Pop was available on the website that was being released um, at the Disney parks for Halloween. 
And if you follow kind of Funko news and Disney Parks news, you might know what pop this is. And I am so, so super jazzed about it. It is the Victor Geist um, or the organ player from the Haunted Mansion. Um, so they are coming out with a whole new collection of Haunted Mansion pops for this year for Halloween. Again, um, so they are coming out with some of these stretching room portraits um, with regular and chase editions with the chase edition being like the full um, stretching portrait. So I am super excited about those. Um, and I've been stalking my local Hot Topics Instagram and like talking constantly with the manager that I know there to try to see if she has any idea when they're coming in so that I can get there and get them. But um, yeah, and then they were coming out with this Hot Topic or they were coming out with this Disney Parks exclusive Victor Geist. And I was really, really hoping that he would end up on Funko Shop um, because Madame Leota did last year that they released. So I was really, really looking forward to and hoping that he would be released. And he ended up showing up at like seven in the morning or something ridiculous like that. Um, and my partner was lucky enough that they were on the site at the time and were able to order one for me and for themselves. So I'm so, so excited to add this to my Haunted Mansion pop collection. I am not taking this one out of the box um, just because he is the Disney Parks exclusive and these usually end up kind of being worth a little bit more um, money than other ones. So again, to just kind of preserve its value and just how nice it is, I'm going to leave him in the box. Um, but you have the organ there, which is just really beautiful. The details on it are amazing. So you have the little candelabra there. Um, and there's even like, it looks like there's notes on the sheet music sitting on the piano, which I think is just such a cool touch. And it even has like the little bat um, detailing of like the music stand and everything. And yeah, it is just a really gorgeous pop. And then Victor himself is just like the clear, like translucent blue and white, um, ghostly looking figure that they did um, kind of last year for some of the pops. So yeah, super, super excited about this one. Um, he was, I honestly don't know how much he cost, but I'm going to assume probably around $30 for this one. Um, and so here's just the sides of the box and the back here shows, you can see kind of a little better how it is the bat, like music stand and just all of the detailing of the organ itself. And then that is the other side of the box. So I keep forgetting to list prices. I'm so bad, but Sally was $12.50. So yeah, that is all that I have for part one of my spooky season haul. Um, let me know what you guys thought of all the things that I purchased. Have you guys been collecting any of these Funko collections that they are releasing? Let me know down below. I would love to talk about it. Um, how, what are you guys doing for Halloween this year? Um, is spooky season kind of your favorite? Like it is mine. And if so, what are you doing to kind of fill in the gap and make up for the fact that we are probably not going to have a normal Halloween season this year? I am just buying every Halloween decoration under the sun and going all out with decorating. So let me know what you guys are doing to kind of make yourselves feel like it really is spooky season. And if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Um, as we get closer to Halloween, there is going to be so much more spooky content coming on this channel. Um, I'll probably do a Halloween pin board, show you guys my Halloween decorations and things like that. So if you want to see those things, give this video a huge thumbs up and stick around by subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon. As always, I hope that you guys have a magical week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.